everybody. Hey, it's me. It's Saul. It's uh, your friend from the internet. Today is day two of my journey to becoming a um, a world famous rich uh, YouTuber. So uh, as I mentioned yesterday, I'm going to be sharing interviews on this channel as well as mostly answering questions from people on my social media following. Um, I'm going to answer questions on a variety of topics. You know, I'm, I'm kind of a subject matter expert on marketing, branding. Um, you know, I've got a keen eye for fashion. You can ask me questions about sneakers, pop culture, music, art, um, business, relationships, dating, sex, really anything uh, you're curious about. I am, um, I probably have a, um, a, I have an opinion and, and I, and I have an answer for you. So, um, you know, I'm full of advice and you should take advantage of it. So, um, you know, as I mentioned yesterday, um, when I, I did my video on brainstorming, I've been collecting questions from people on my social media platforms and I will be diving into them. Got about 40 of them now. So, um, if you like this sort of stuff, if you like me, if you want more of it, please do all the stuff you're supposed to do. Um, you know, like subscribe, share, click that button as, as other people say, I, I need you to slam that, that notification bell, whatever. Or I don't know. Who cares? Just just come back every day uh, or every other day because there's going to be a lot of regular content. I don't want you to miss anything. So today, today's question. Uh, I knew there would be a question along this, so um, so let's just dive in. Today's question was posted through my Instagram stories uh, from Paula. Paula, hi. Thank you. Um, I appreciate you, um, and uh, I really love this question. Paula asked. Out of all the sneakers you own, what are your top three and why? So, um, you know, if you've if you've looked at my Instagram channel at all, or if you've looked at you know anything I, I do, that uh, you know that I collect sneakers. I've got lots of them, and uh, you know, so this question, so narrowing down three was uh, it was easier than than I thought because uh, you know I, I certainly have three that I love but um, I'm actually gonna expand the the this to six because I put sort of them in two different categories and, and I'll explain that as I go along but Sneakers, man, I've been collecting sneakers for probably since I was about 16 years old. Um, obviously, at that time, I didn't know what I was getting myself into the way it's blown up now. And it's, it was a totally different thing. But, you know, it was, I always would have kind of two or three different pairs of shoes and they would always be in different colors so I could match them to what I was wearing. Um, so, you know, it's very different now. People have thousands of pairs of shoes. I used to have about a hundred um, in my collection and I sort of started trimming them back. And, you know, I, I throw out shoes when they they get worn out, sort of beat down. Um, how, how I do my shoes, I live in a cold weather climate. So I am. Um, I, I try to wear um, as many different shoes during the summer months, and in the winter, I usually pick one pair of kind of beat up shoes and wear them all through the winter as my winter boots. And then they're usually really dead, and I throw them out at the end of the the well when the weather gets nicer. But this past year, I ended up giving away about 20, 25 pairs of shoes through uh, my inter Instagram feed and and social media feed. Just um, you know the you know, during COVID, I wasn't wearing them. Uh, sort of mind shift on the importance of them, and um, you know, you, you sort of looking around and and um, you wonder why you need all these things. So, um, ran contest, gave away twenty five pairs and and really good pairs too. So, um, I hope they're in good homes and they're appreciated and and stuff like that. But anyways, um, let's dive into um, my my top three, or as I'm going to do, top six, two different categories. My the the first category I'm going to go are. are our regular kind of limited edition, um, you know, sort of real Nike, no problem. And I should mention, I, I only wear Nike. Um, you know, it's it's a part uh, part because I um, just love the brand, love what it stands for. Uh, when I was sixteen. I was a, uh, a competitively ranked uh, tennis player in Canada, and um, you know, a, a, a uh, I wasn't sponsored by Nike, but I was sponsored by a tennis store, and they gave me um, two sets of uh, John McEnroe head to toe, um, you know, sort of uh, shirt shorts and shoes. So that sort of um, got me down the road of being super loyal to Nike. I just kind of dug that and dug McEnroe. So um, I, I can honestly say that the only shoes I really wear. Nike 
I'd even go narrower than that. The only shoes I really wear are, um, I, I wear Jordan 3s, Jordan 11s. Those are really only the Jordans I like, but, you know, it, it's cool. You don't have to not like, you know, others just because I don't. Um, I wear a lot of Air Force 1s, and I, a lot of, I wear a lot of Air Max 90s. Um, those are kind of my sweet spots. So, Diving in, I'm going to show you some of my favorite pairs. And um, I am, um, I'm not like one of these guys who, you know, knows every single piece of minutia about a certain shoe and, and stuff like that. I won't bore you with that stuff. I just really like the way stuff looks and I like the materials. I'm a big texture guy. I love um, my shoes to have texture. So um, first one on my list of favorite shoes, let's Get them right up here. Uh, these are my Air Max 90s. They are um, made out of red velvet. And uh, these were a um, anniversary shoe. I don't remember exactly what the anniversary was. Um, but um, these are these are kind of like a convertible for me. I, I bring them out sort of only on the best days when the weather's beautiful and uh, go through there. Um, number two on the list, and these aren't really ranked in any order. I'm just making them numbers for easier, is... Um, these are my Air Force Ones, and they are, uh, if you see, there's a splatter paint design. These were done by Crink, if you can see that. Let's see. I don't know if you can see that. But anyways, Crink is a street artist who does um, splatter paint. I'll, I'll show you a little video of something he did with a mini. I'm obsessed with these shoes. I'm obsessed with Crank. I really love street art. Uh, when I saw that there was a collaboration between the two, I kind of had to have them. And one of the really cool things with this, um, can't really see because the light is so bright. They're just like, you know, a gray shoe that looks like there's some splatter paint on them. But the splatter paint is actually done with 3M reflective. So if you are walking outside and any light reflects on them, they kind of glow and, and things. So um, number three on the list, and I know you guys said that I know I said that I, I only really wear Jordan 3s, 11s, Air Force 1s, and, uh, and Air Max 90s. I do have a couple sort of oddball pair like, um, like these. These are um, Nike Chukas woven. And uh, if you see, this is all like a, not really shoelace, but kind of a shoelace design. I, um, I love these shoes because, you know, just like I said, I like texture. Uh, I love stars, I love bold, I love patterns, I love all sorts of stuff. And these are just um, crazy, crazy comfortable. So those are kind of my <clears throat> off the shelf, limited edition, you know, not impossible to find, but um, but a little bit harder to find than usual top three. And now I'm gonna show you my, my top three favorites of all time uh, that sort of fall into a different category because I got to make some space here on the desk. Uh, two of these pairs I designed myself and one are just really impossible to find. So these are maybe my favorite pair of shoes of all time. If you see on the back, it says 06. These were, um, these were pretty hard to find. Uh, these were from the 06 NBA All-Star game. They were given to players and friends and family and a, and a handful uh, were um, sort of released to the public. Um, you got to remember in 06, it, the sneaker market wasn't like it is today where, you know, it's kind of blowing up. And you'll notice in the shoes that I'm showing you, my shoe collection is really in a time capsule. I, I haven't really bought that much in the last four years because um, so, I just, you know, I kind of had everything or had a lot or too much. So all my shoes are between 12 and four years old, except for one or two pairs here and there. Um, and I, you know, I, I keep them in great shape. I keep them in the box. I, you know, wear them 10 times a year sort of thing. But I do wear all my shoes. That's why you can see that, you know, everything's got thing. This is actually my third pair of these shoes. Um, I got them back in 06, 07. Loved them to death. Uh, found another pair on eBay when I, I wore them down to nothing, found another pair. And um, this is actually my third pair. The second pair were actually counterfeit. I 
and I didn't know that they were fakes. And uh, I didn't know that when I bought it, but I knew that about two months in when they just literally fell apart and, and the sole fell off and there wasn't any air in them or anything like that. So that's the only fake pair of shoes I've ever bought that I know of. Um, and then I, I paid way, way too much for these uh, just because they are my favorite pair of all time. Um, you know, the patent leather, bold, bright, you know, kind of like me. Um, so I love these to death and, and, um, and I don't wear them as much as I should because um, they're literally almost impossible to find again. Um, next pair. Um, these are my hound shoes. And the reason I love these so much is these were made just for me. These are what are, what are called customs. They weren't made by Nike for me. Uh, they were made um, by a shoe designer uh, a friend of mine named uh, Elon Bowen and Bowman, and I'm going to put his contact information down below if you want to get a pair of shoes from made uh, made from him. He's um, he's literally the best uh, shoe customizer that I've ever worked with, and super nice guy and great. Um, so I love Houndstooth. I asked him to make a pair of Houndstooth. These are hand painted. Um, every single check on the Houndstooth is done by hand. Um, the guy is incredible. Again, super nice guy. He's made um, a couple shoes for me over the years, and uh, these are definitely one of my favorites. And uh, I actually have like a houndstooth suit, and I wear these with the suit. Um, you know, say what you want. Uh, you know, I'm a classy guy. Um, another pair of shoes that Elam made for me, and uh, Elam's company is called Eccentric Artist. If you want to check it out, but again, I'll put the the link below. Um, I love colors. I love bold. I love sort of getting attention. Again, these are not Nike designed for me. They are Nike Air Force One that Elon painted for me. But when you look at this, this is going to, you'll, you'll, you'll understand how good this guy is um, because this must have taken just forever to do. But these are my Pantone color wheel shoes where, <clears throat> excuse me, every square in it is a different color from a, a Pantone color wheel that you use for, you know, designing and stuff like that. And the left shoe and the right shoe are completely different as well. So you have uh, the entire sort of spectrum of colors uh, from the Pantone wheel. And, and um, man, I've had these for a long time. I love these shoes as well, um, but I, I should probably wear them a little more. Uh, I should probably leave my house and, and get out there and, and wear them. So, um, so Paula, I hope that answered your questions. I hope that was uh, entertaining. I hope um, people are, are, I hope people have checked out yesterday's episode where uh, I was asked about my process for brand, brainstorming and being creative. Uh, we're going to keep these shows going. So hopefully you guys stick around and uh, you know, we're two in so far. We're still having fun, but man, these videos are a lot of work, not so much the recording, but making them pretty afterwards. But we're going to keep going because, uh, again, I've told you the goal is to become um, crazy rich and famous through YouTube. So we're just going to keep doing it and, and see what happens. So if you want to um, leave a question, uh, drop it either in the comments here. Find me on social media. We got a bunch more to go through. Nothing's really off limits. If you, you ask me something too personal, I'll probably answer it anyways, or maybe I won't. Who knows? But for the most part, all the questions have been great. All have been respectful, and we're just going to keep grinding them out. So hope you uh, hope you come back tomorrow.